I love cooking. I hate doing dishes. I should say, my wife hates doing dishes. So today, we're going to make this chicken dish. I'm going to attempt to do it all in one pan in the oven. So let's get started with the chicken. Here's the chicken. We have four bone-in chicken thighs, skin on. We are just going to coat them, let them marinate for about 30 minutes in some olive oil, some salt, cracked black pepper. Now normally you could use fresh thyme. I don't have any. Probably like four sprigs of thyme would work. So I'm going to use some dry thyme. Oh, about half teaspoon. Looks about right. And some smoked paprika. Love this stuff. Uh, looks about right. I'm going to give this a mix. And we're going to use the best mixing tools God gave us. And just get this going. We'll let that go in the refrigerator or, you know, about a half hour. If you have more time, that's great. We're going to let it go for about a half hour. And then through the magic of television, we'll be back. Let's get to the the loaded cauliflower part of this. I have a small head of cauliflower here, right here, if I can pick it up. I've trimmed all the outer leaves off of it. So what we are going to do, we're going to keep the core intact so it all stays together. What I'm going to try is to get it into four pieces, so four quarters. And we are going to transfer this to a pre-greased baking pan. <laughs> Cut side down. Got uh, about two tablespoons of unsalted butter melted. We'll go ahead and bathe these in the butter. Hit them with a little salt and pepper. We'll place the chicken on this half of the pan. So one more thing. I'm going to add two slices of bacon to the pan like that. This is going into a 400 degree 450 degree preheated oven. I'm going to cook this for 15 minutes so the bacon gets crisp. After the 15 minutes is up, I'm going to take the bacon out, set it on some paper towel, then I'm going to put everything back in for another 40 minutes. I lied a little bit. Um, it was a 450 degree oven, but we put the pan in there with the bacon. We're going to put that in there for 15 minutes. After the 15 minutes come out, we're going to take the bacon out. Then we're going to put the chicken and the cauliflower back in for 25 to 30 minutes. Or until the chicken reaches 165 degrees internally. Thank you. 30 minutes is up. What we're going to do now, we're going to stick these back in the oven for one minute. But we are going to lay a piece of cheddar cheese... Without the paper, we're going to put some cheddar cheese on all four. And we're going to get that back in there and get it melted. We're going to plate up some food. Oh. Okay. Chicken. Keto friendly. Cauliflower. Carb friendly. Now to make it loaded cauliflower, we're going to add about a teaspoon of sour cream. Some of that bacon that we cooked, we're going to sprinkle that on top. And I chopped some fresh chives. Make it a little pretty. And that is your chicken and loaded cauliflower. In one pan. Give it a taste, taste, give it a taste. 
Oh, all the skin came off. It's crispy though. Skin cooks beautifully. I mean, it's chicken thighs. It's moist. It's perfectly cooked. It's tender. I'm super happy with that. That's delicious. And spent some time in that marinade. It's perfect. All right, we're going to give a taste test of this cauliflower. Ooh, nice and soft. Get some bacon and chives on there. Mmm. Me being diabetic, I don't miss the potato. This is perfect. You don't need to change a thing. Whew, that's good. No carbs, right? No carbs. A little bit of, it's fat for your sour cream, so we're good. Just want to say thank you all for joining me today. It doesn't matter if you're baking it, broiling it, grilling it, or baking it, which I probably said twice. Keep doing what you do. Take care. Peace.